Good morning, guys, and happy Coffee Monday. I'm wearing my Coffee Monday shirt here. That, that's Benji. I'll put a, a link to Dan Sember below. The, I, and I say that because that's Benji from His Judy's Life and from Benji Man TV put Coffee Monday together. And so every Monday I wear this shirt and I obviously drink coffee. I mean, I drink coffee almost every day, but that's besides the point. It's Monday morning here, about 7.45. Pretty foggy out here in Lynchburg. As you can see, it's, you know, the sun's kind of waking up still. We put up our tree last night, finally. I got it beginning of last week, but we just hadn't put it up yet we had lights and everything I still have ornaments sitting on the couch over there that we need to put up probably tonight or something but this week is busy we have a lot going on hopefully i don't go crazy getting all of it done but last night i spent a pretty good amount of time putting my schedule together for this week so i don't know if anyone's a big fan of the wonderful world of disney it was airing this past weekend it aired for the first time in years this past weekend dick van dyke was the host of it they presented mary poppins the entire movie was shown on abc it was great. I caught up with it last night, found it on ABC's site. It was great because I had never seen some of the scenes before. I think they put in like deleted scenes or something extra. I had to watch it online because obviously they're not going to show it again. Same thing because it was the same commercials and everything and I had to load it up a few times so it was kind of annoying. I had to see the same commercials a couple of times. But it's one of my favorite movies, all time favorite movies, maybe even like top 10 just because I just love that era. Not not just like the time period that they were in, but like the style. Everything about it is just wonderful. So simple, yet it's got a lot going on in it. So I'm going to eat breakfast here. I will catch up with you guys later. Man, I turned into one gloomy, stinking day. Just get back home. It's not a bad day, but it's um, about 4 o'clock now. We had a, a bit of a struggle with some things at work today, but we got things done. I didn't get everything done that I wanted to, as far as my own personal like checklist. I know I talked earlier about it being a decent day, but it got gloomy and it's been raining like half the day. It was kind of a downer, but it's like I, I'll, I'll base like my outfits and stuff of the day off of off the weather. Um, I don't know how many people do that, but I know that most guys that I know dress for functionality over fashion. But thankfully, I've been getting a little bit more stylish with my with my own gear and stuff, thanks to Meg and thanks to a bunch of other people I know and follow. But anyway. Uh, sorry, I just got a really important email there. I'm gonna be real with you guys, but I also wanna make you laugh. Because that's what my favorite things to do is keep things positive, to keep things fun. Because if it's not fun, then why would you do something? But that's why I do this vlog. I do it because it's fun, it's enjoyable. I don't feel like I have to do it. I'm not trying to earn money off of it or anything. It's just fun to do. It's fun to talk about just stuff about my life and share things with you guys, especially because I don't know anybody in Lynchburg that has a daily vlog. Or not even daily, like even a weekly or anything. Like nobody that I know. But I know most people around here because I grew up here. Nobody that I know does a vlog like this at all. Not to like to my own horn or anything, it's just I like to, you know, be able to answer people's questions about lunch for like if you think about moving here, talk to me. And I can pretty much tell you anything you wanna know, being that I did grow up here. It's been a bit of a, a, a quiet day, but I'm gonna be going to the gym soon. Meg is actually getting ready and I'm gonna be heading over there in just a bit. I gotta get ready myself because I'm wearing my coffee Monday shirt. That's not gonna fly at the gym. It would work, but it does doesn't work. I don't wanna mess this shirt up because I really like this shirt. I mean, I wish that these were still available because, I mean, it's, I, I wear it every Monday because it's Coffee Monday, as it says down here a little bit further down. There you go. Um, and that's Benji, like I said. Great guy, wonderful guy. I had the chance to meet him. I would buy like three or four of these shirts just so I could have like the nice deep black in here that never fades away because I have multiple copies of it. It's a super, super comfortable shirt and flatters. I got Megan a copy of the shirt. It flatters anyone who wears it. So anyway, that's just a little side tangent there. Um, but I do want to say, because I am wearing this and I wasn't planning on saying this, being that it is from Benji and Judy in just about four days, three days from the time that this vlog goes up. So this Friday, the 18th, they are going to be doing Dance Summer. It's a 24 hour live event. I mentioned it in the last vlog, and I will put a link below um, for you guys to check it out. And basically, it's just a really awesome, fun, dance event that happens for a straight 24 hours. They do a live broadcast that doesn't go down at all for a whole 24 hours. And I watched it last year, and they've been doing it for a few years now. And so basically, it's just they're 
they're doing it to raise money for a charity called Convoy of Hope, and it's to end world hunger. And so they, they have a goal, they've already made significant progress towards it, they have a higher goal than last year, and people are already contributing to it, and if you contribute to it, then you are entered into a chance to win a trip to go and meet them, and to experience uh, VidCon and everything, so it's definitely worth more than just saying, hey, I get to meet these people, but I get to contribute to something that is bigger than myself. I definitely encourage you guys to go ahead and take 10 bucks out of your Christmas budget and put it towards someone who could really use a meal or something for Christmas. I've already donated. I might even donate one more time. I might donate it last year. It's a legit thing. You guys should definitely check it out. I'm gonna go, so I'll, I'll check you guys later. Hey guys, um, just got back from the gym. Just uh, down to shake and finish showering, hence I'm looking kind of wet and stuff. This is not sweat, this is like any possibly leftover water from drying off from the shower, so not gross or anything. So it, it was good, I accept at the very end. I dropped a 45 pound plate on my big toe, like the knuckle of it, right where it meets the foot. And it was only from like maybe six to eight inches. So it was enough that I was like, oh my gosh, how did I do it? It was the last plate that I was going to be loading back onto the rack so I was done I was completely done with my whole routine and I had just finished doing shrugs to build up the traps I guess it just kind of slipped out of my fingers a little bit I, like I guess it was like the left hand because I had just been using my hands to grip onto like 410 pounds worth of plates and shrugging and stuff so I'm like holding on to it I was bent over so I could get down and get it onto the rack as I was placing it on there's a bar that goes through the hole in the plate I kind of missed it already Already let it go with my left hand so I could like go down and shove it onto the rack instead it just slipped out of my hand and landed like onto my foot and it kind of rolled off a little bit <sighs> not a good feeling it's not broken or anything it's not even like painful anymore and it's not even super sensitive it's just it's just red right now if I pop it you know like if you pop your knuckle it doesn't really hurt I can feel like something is a little bit different there nothing to phone home about or anything like that it's not sprained probably be back to normal color tomorrow so it's just a little bit of pink it's red right now it was a good day and it's only eight o'clock here so I'm gonna make some food I'm gonna go to Meg's place hang out for the evening and then uh, we were gonna go to Barnes & Noble but I was too tired didn't feel like it was worth it to go right now because Barnes & Noble closes at 10 o'clock that's okay I can totally understand I mean it's not entirely worth it to go there because in Lynchburg most things close by 10 o'clock on the weekdays by 11 on the weekend so that's like 90% of the businesses around here welcome to Lynchburg I would really appreciate it if you guys would just comment below. Let me know what you guys would like me to talk about. If you have any questions about me, about what I do, about Lynchburg, because I know a lot of people have not been here before. If you have, it probably wasn't for a very long time because there's not like a ton of stuff to do here, but anything else, just message me, comment below. I'll talk about it in the vlog because I love hearing from you guys. I mean, I've, I've talked about stuff from other, that other people have requested to talk about and it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it, honestly. And that's why I do this. I, I do it because I enjoy doing it to keep up with my life and to have something to look back on when I'm like 50 years old or something. Hopefully YouTube is still going away then. I think it will be. We are five days away from Star Wars and I'm excited. And that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. I hope everyone has a good night. Peace.